So at this time, His Excellency the President is proceeding to pay his last respects. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodampa Ekufuado, ably supported by the First Lady, Mrs. Rebecca Ekufuado. Your Excellency, you are welcome. The family is eternally grateful to you for doing this great honor to their prized asset and their gem. So at this time, His Excellency the President is proceeding to pay his last respects to the mortal remains of Honorable Mrs. Eunice Jacqueline Boa, Asuma a member of the Council of State, founder and CEO of La Bianca, a philanthropist, a loving wife, a mother, and a servant to the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia. Your Excellency, we're grateful to you for your presence here. Today, Tough as it may be, is a day where you have shown massive love, and for that we say we are grateful. His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic, will proceed to pay his last respects to Honorable Mrs. Eunice Jacqueline Boa as my name. Yes, we also duly acknowledge the presence of the wife of the yes, Vice President, also known as the Second Lady of the Republic, Mrs. Samira Baumia. Madam, we're grateful for your presence here today. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much for the love. And thank you very much for the respect. Dearly beloved, at this time, His Excellency the Vice President and his beloved spouse, are paying their last respects. God bless you. Ably supported by members of parliament and top government officials. Peace of MPP. 
breaking the the tough man by me. That chain. As soon as we are here, we are German. We are breaking it now. We engineer. The tough engineer. Of course, I'll be honest. Yeah, That's himself. <laughs> the beautiful one. I'm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Christian family and was baptized in the Church of Pentecost on July 1st, 1980, at a very young age. Her faith remained unflinching throughout her life. Political life. She was a dedicated member of the New Patriotic Party and was elected as a member of the Council of State of Ghana in 2017, representing the Western region. She served with distinction in this role until her passing in 2024. Chieftaincy Life. Honorable Deaconess Mrs. Eunice Asuma Hene became known as Nana Akwanze Abraba IV after being installed as Divisional Chief of Princess Town in Chiadom Hene of Ahanta Traditional Area. In this role, she championed numerous initiatives that significantly impacted the community. A legacy of philanthropy. Her impact was felt across all walks of life, from the noble to the vulnerable. For the sake of time, I'll list just a couple of her philanthropic contributions. For decades, she, uh, her philanthropic endeavors reached far and wide, encompassing the building of homes and schools, the payments of school fees, rent, wedding expenses, funeral costs for hundreds, regardless of whether they were close to her or complete strangers. She played a pivotal role in the construction and ongoing support of numerous church buildings, nurturing spiritual growth and fostering a sense of community worship. Her significant contributions to the construction and renovation of palaces helped preserve cultural heritage and reinforce traditional leadership. Through her company, La Bianca, and other affiliate cold storage businesses, she created jobs for thousands. Her legacy, is one of compassion, generosity, and unwavering commitment to uplifting others. A life of grace, devotion, and timeless elegance. Eunice cherished her family and friends deeply and had a profound love for fashion, home decor, music, and comedy. Above all, her devotion to the Lord was paramount in her life. She was renowned for her meticulous cleanliness always ensuring that her home was immaculate, her surroundings orderly, and her presence accompanied by a pleasant fragrance. Eunice found joy in swimming, exercising, and enjoying the serenity of her beautiful garden. She often spent time in quiet reflection, praying and listening to preaching and gospel music. Her favorite meal was fufu with light soup, and she had a special fondness for drinking tea. 
In her leisure, she delighted in traveling the world, embracing the beauty and diversity of different cultures. A big tree has fallen, Yedupong Itutu. On Wednesday, 11th June, 2024, Eunice the Deaconess, Council of State member, chief philanthropist, wife, mother, daughter, auntie, friend, and loved one, took her last breath at 7.45 a.m. at Tema International Maritime Hospital after battling an illness. Yes, indeed, the family, the nation, the church, La Bianca Company, a lot of people, we've lost a great one. Indeed, a big tree has fallen. She left behind a husband, sons, daughters, grandchildren, sisters, brothers, mothers, aunties, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, in-laws, friends, and thousands of loved ones. My sister, Eunice's journey, is a story of resilience, vision, and unwavering faith. Her legacy lives on through her family, her businesses, and the countless lives she touched along the way. Christo Dorfo Nantiye, Eradzim Fawum Sieye, Nana Siabwe, Namene Eva Wakala Eziebwe. Amen. Please, you can take two minutes. After that, Labianca Company and then the states, maybe the Council of States will take theirs. Tribute by Sam Stephan Abidu. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his godly ones. Psalm 116, verse 15. Today, the earth mourns the loss of a loving mother, leader, and friend, while heaven rejoices at the arrival of a beloved daughter. So our hearts are filled with sadness, and mine is especially distraught at losing a cherished mother. I find comfort, people, the great vacuum that you, your departure, has left in our lives. For decades, you stood as a strong pillar, exemplifying grace, virtue, compassion, and exceptional leadership. You always knew exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. As a devil steward of the faith, you demonstrated Christ's love, first to our family, and then to the world. Ma, you impacted our home with your virtue, charisma, and love. Your selfless generosity to the community and society is truly noteworthy. Now, that calm assurance of your presence has been taken from us, like the rest. Bless the family. We want to praise God for her life. 
So I stand on behalf of the Church of Pentecost and I send our condolences to you. We pray that the good Lord, whose hands is able to reach your soul, will console you, strengthen you on your inner man, and grant you grace to be able to soldier on in life. But this morning we have been told that blessed are those who die in the Lord. They will rest from their labor and their deeds will follow them. May I respectfully ask if we can to stand and pay our last respect to our departed sister. Honorable Dickness, Minis, Jacqueline, Boah, Sumakin. Let me be silent.
Praise the Lord. Come on. And peace. Yes. Now, when I want to come to my condo, Io, I was him, Sikem, in the Nia, in Kaka Nusu. When I want to come home, 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 Koso, Ope Nino Adano, in a dance at the Fina, Io, I am excited to have you. President, you are So we have this time to our people To you, O oh God, be the glory, praise and honor. We thank you, we bless you for who you are and how far you've led us. You've led us and you've revealed your mind, your purpose unto us even this day. We want to bless you, O oh Lord, unto the time we call our beloved sister and mom. And to this day, we see your hand, your presence, your power. And oh God, your thought for us. We bless you. We praise you. We pray thee in the name of Jesus. That oh God, each one here present, will feel your power, become a fragrance, and reflect your glory and power. We bless you, we pray. Continue to breathe into us, even from this session to the next session, until the end of our life. And hereafter, Glory, praise, and honor will be accorded to you. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Almighty cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the good Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless us. Come in. Shall we please be seated? Please, when the casket is lifted, we will all be asked to stand. We will stand until the casket leaves and His Excellency, the President, also leaves this ground. So, there is.